hundreds of civilians have been detained, over 1,000 killed, and thousands more forcibly displaced by the Rugged Support Forces, or RSF. This happened in Nardamata, a suburb of Guinea, the capital of West Darfur State, in early November. Since then, Human Rights Watch has interviewed survivors and analyzed and verified social media videos showing RSF detaining over 200 men and boys in three locations in and around Ardamata. Survivors told Human Rights Watch that most of those detained or killed were Masalid community members, indicating they were ethnically targeted. Five videos uploaded to Telegram and Facebook between November 4th and 5th show a group of at least 125 men and boys being forced to run towards a Guinea airport located east of Ardamata. Several are visibly wounded, including some who are limping. Human Rights Watch has so far not been able to determine the fate of any of these people. Many Masali civilians had sought refuge near a Sudanese armed forces base in Ardamata in recent months, fleeing previous attacks by the RSF and their allies in central Algeria. Videos published on the RSF's official X account and dated November 4th have been duplicated by Human Rights Watch. They show RSF commanders Abdul Rahim Hamdan Degalu and Abdul Rahman Yuma celebrating their takeover of the Sudanese army base in Ardamata. They also indicate that the commanders were present on the ground as atrocities were carried out against civilians by forces under their command. The international community should impose targeted sanctions on Abdul Rahim and Abdul Rahman in response to the abuses against civilians. Targeting of civilians, their unlawful detention, forcible displacement and extrajudicial killings violate the laws of war and may constitute war crimes.